Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dudes back with another video. And today, I wanna to do a review of the Dell XPS 15 inch two in one. This is gonna be real quick, real brief. Just some simple stuff. I'm not gonna get into the heavy stuff because I just got my laptop back. So I really wanna get, uh, get adjusted to it again and really get used to it uh, before I make a full fledged review. Um, I had originally got this unit on April 13th. Um, came in, was very excited, very happy to the unboxing video, only to discover that I had a dead pixel on my screen in the corner part over there. It was a white stuck pixel. I was really pissed. Uh, I tried to get over it for a whole week and I said, you know what, I can't take it no more. I called Dale, had, had to set it back and get my panel replaced. Um, I don't want to show you guys my uh, information, but basically right here, as you can see, they had to replace the, the bezel, the cover, the cable, the paddle. Um, I'm going to block out my conditions, as you see, it's my name on there. Um, so yeah, so basically, long story short, I got it back today. Um, no dead pixels, um, pixels, everything, the screen is good, panel's good. Um, so this is just a little, little bit of detail, because with two Thunderbolt ports, 40 gigabytes a piece, 40 gigabyte lanes, um, a micro SD slot, the power indicator button right here. Um, on the front, you got an LED button that lights up whenever you charge it and all that. Um, got two USB Type C's over here. Headphone jack, look like a kid's to lock. This is the 4K screen model. Um, it's very, 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 very bright, very vivid. I actually have my brightness turned down right now. Um, keyboards, this Mac left. I also heard people having problems with their Mac left keyboards, which is the reason why um, this particular unit uh, not mine, but this particular model had delays lately. So a lot of customers still haven't got theirs yet because of the maglev keyboard. Mine's fortunately enough for me. Mine's happen to be okay. I'm not having no issues with mine. I heard other people are, which is the reason why they had delays on this laptop. Um, everything else is pretty good. Um, and for the most part, it's just like the other Dell XPS 15 inch, uh, except for it's a lot, mm, well, thinner. I wouldn't say is I would say lighter. I guess it's lighter. It feels a little lighter, I guess. Um, but other than that, man, it's a nice laptop, two in one. I got the version with the i7. Um, what is it? 80, 8705 G, um, quad core processor. Uh, sixteen gigs of RAM, five twelve SSD. Um, it's a good computer, guys. When I had it before I sent it back, it was real good. I enjoyed it. I loved it. It was actually pretty good. Um, the fan issue is another thing that I'm gonna check out and see what I can do with that. I heard that you have to go to Dell Power Management and, and turn it to a certain setting to get that fan issue taken care of. I heard a couple people have issues with that. Um, when I do get more in depth into that, that type of stuff, I will do another video for you guys. As you know, I'm the Thunderbolt dude. I always hook up my laptops to the, uh, the Thunderbolt to do the eGPU setup. Um, I'm also, for all, for all the people who was uh, requested me to do gaming videos on the OLED. I'm still gonna do that. I'm gonna get me a camera, uh, a camera stand for my phone, so I can actually sit the goddamn phone up, so I ain't got to hold it. I don't know why I ain't do that, guys, but I haven't got to it yet. But I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna do some gaming on the Alienware 13 inch OLED. I'm gonna do some gaming on here. I'm gonna do a comparison for you guys. Let you see what's going on. Viewing angles ain't that bad. Just to let you know, viewing angles ain't that bad at all. Um. Here's the box too. Never mind that, cause that's from the sitting in the back. <clears throat> Here's the box, cause with the typical Dell box right here. Um, other than that, man, this computer is great. Like I said, I'm gonna do a more in-depth review, and then I'm gonna get back to you guys on it. But right now, this is the Dell XPS. Uh, what is that? Seventy? No, ninety-five, seventy-five. Sorry about that, guys. Dell XPS ninety-five, seventy-five. Right here. You can flip it. Oh, here's another thing, guys. I'm gonna put the phone, put the phone down. Oh, actually, I ain't gonna put the phone down. Sorry about that. You can flip this mug into a tablet. Look at that. Nice. That's one of the main things that I wanted this uh, this laptop for, guys. Uh, to be honest with you, this two in one. I'm not a huge, huge fan of two in one. Well, at least I wasn't until I got the Lenovo the X1 Yoga OLED, and then I became a two in one fan. Um, now this one is not as powerful as the 9570 that's coming out. I'm gonna just let you guys know that. But this one is not weak either. This is not a weak. This is not a weak laptop. It's a pretty good laptop. It's pretty strong. It handles some tasks. 
Uh, but I got it because whenever I watch movies, man, I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for movies, man. So when I watch movies on Netflix, YouTube, uh, um, or just in general, just, you know, I ain't going mean, to Cody, baby, but we're going to get into that. When you watching your Cody and all that, <clears throat> um, this screen is good for that. Um, you can just set it up, lay back, sit back, whatever, chilling, man. Turn on a movie, turn on a game, whatever you want to do, boom, you're straight. Uh, touch screen, I haven't got the pen. Uh, I'm going to get the pen. I'm going to get to that. Oh, man, I can't even sign in yet. But um, when I get when I get that stand, guys, I'm going to get back get back to you guys, get more in, uh, in depth with it, um, show you some gaming on it, start doing a couple of little videos um, and do a comparison for you guys. It's your boy Dudes for now. Peace. Y'all take care. See y'all next time.